Saskatoon going to, to Grandma's house. I'm gonna find Grandma's house. And now we'll call it a night because I'm getting really tired. Continue down here. There's Grandma. Welcome. Come in, please. Possum told me to expect you. All right, let's give her some soup. Here you go, Grandma. Let's enjoy this. Oh, one of a youth potion would help her. The elderly lady is not interested in that. It was worth a try. I thought she may drink the youth potion. Let's give her uh, the usual stuff. Chicken noodle soup. It is a little too cold to be serving to frail old ladies. Let's take it to the fire. You place the now cold chicken soup over the crackling fire once more. After it heats up to eating temperature, you remove it again. Examine the chicken soup again. The pot contains hot, bubbling chicken soup. Let's give it to her. You offer the soup to Possum's grandma. Introduce okay. yourself and wait courteously while the frail elderly lady eats the nourishing Paradise. Meal. When she is finished, she sets the empty bowl down elsewhere and turns her attention towards you. She has to say. Let's see if we can talk to her. They say a home is one's castle, but your voice won't sound as good in here. If you would like to speak with me for a while, I would welcome your company. Mm. A person should never turn away a visitor, especially when she reaches the twilight of her life. You can't help but feel a sense of finality in the old woman's words. Uh -huh. You must have something in return for your kindness. Okay. You do not need to risk your safety for an old, worn-out woman like myself. Mm. Look under the bed. You should find something to keep you a little warmer on a cold night like this. What did she give me? It is a simple yet comfortably soft bed. It is covered by a decorated quilt. Under the bed? You peer under the bed and find a thick black cloak. Wow. On top it is a beautiful ruby encrusted ring. You pick both up with reverence. Nice. I, I could not possibly take these fine things from you. Oh, please. I want you to have some. Nights in Kolima are cold. Believe me. Huh. As for the ring. Well, perhaps it is better that I do not have it to remind me. As you wish. All right. Can I put on the cape? The black cloak is a fine garment. It feels thick and warm. The inside is lined with red satin. Let's put on that co cloak. With a flourish, Ooh. you fling the black cloak around your neck and fasten it. Nice. I got a nice cape. It's looking pretty, pretty, pretty dashing. What's this ring here? The ring is gold with an enormous red ruby. The word beloved is engraved inside the gold band. Put on the ring. You are now wearing the beautiful ruby ring. Oh, nice. See your progress as grandma. Grandma looks pale and weak. She must be ailing. She's dressed in a warm flannel nightgown. White curls peek out from her flannel nightcap. Can talk to her a little bit more? You have a charming young granddaughter. 
Grandma smiles at you graciously. She is a treasure to me. I would do anything to ensure that no harm comes to her. Hmm. If I may inquire, what became of her parents? Grandma frowns and her eyes darken for a moment before she forces a melancholy smile to her face. Okay. They were lost to us many years ago. I am afraid dear Possum never really knew her parents. It must have been a daunting task raising a child by yourself, especially at your age. Uh, I mean... Um... At my age? <laughs> I am certainly not as young as I used to be, and there is no shame in that. I have tried to raise her as best I could to keep her safe and well. However, I fear that as of late the reverse has become truer. What is that? If you please, I was hoping you might tell me of the Cloak and Ring's origin. The old woman closes her eyes as if the memory she seeks is painful to her senses. 